Hello friend, this is Sunil Sharma over here from Speed Maths and in today's video we are going to discuss how to study math and excel in math exams. This is a million dollar question, how to study math. First of all, let's try to understand why do you hate maths? Well, let's take an example of science and let's try to understand how our brain works. Now, if you talk about science, let's take an example, say germination of seeds. Now, when I say germination of seeds, you can see a seed growing into a plant. You don't have to imagine it. You can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it, you can see the color, you can see the shape. But when it comes to maths, let me take a topic of maths, say quadratic equation. Now, a brain has to take a lot of effort to imagine how a quadratic equation looks like. And since a brain has to come out of the comfort zone to imagine uh, various concepts of maths and that is the reason why we don't understand various concepts and we feel it is difficult and we don't understand maths. Well, I'm here today to give you a solution to it. And if you apply the method which I would be mentioning in this video, I'm sure you will get very good percentage or very good marks in your exams. So let's begin. So don't be spectator in your class. Always see to it that whatever topic your teacher is going to discuss in the next class, make sure you go through the textbooks, you go through all the resources, YouTubes and find out more about that topic so that whenever you go to the, the next class, you will not be a spectator, rather you will be a participant over there. Second aspect is after your teacher has taught you the topic. Well, I would suggest you to revise the concept on the same day. That would help you to retain 90 to 99% of stuff what you have learnt on that day. Always make three notebooks. Notebook number one will be for theorems and formulas. It should be divided in the ratio 80 to 20. And the first 80% part you would be writing and practicing theorems. And the rest of the 20 part will be practicing formulas. Because without theorems and formulas you won't be able to proceed ahead with the chapter. So you need to practice theorems and formulas in notebook number one which is very very important. Notebook number two, take any one chapter, take the first exercise and then start solving it without using any of the digest or any of the resources. And if you are able to solve it, move ahead to the next one. Let's say question one you have solved it, question two also you have solved it. Now when you are solving question 3, you are stuck, you are not able to solve it. Do not stop, mark that question or circle that question in your textbook, proceed ahead. Let's go to question number 4 and if you are not able to solve that as well, again circle it. Now move on to next exercise, solve whatever you could solve and circle whatever you could not solve it. And notebook to consist of all those questions you can solve it easily. Notebook 3 will be all those sums which you have circled it. So first you need to practice those sums a couple of times and then you need to practice it without saying it. Till you have the confidence that you have understood the entire concept. You might have to take the help of your teacher. You might have to take help of your various resources like you know video, YouTube, audio visual, whatever. During your exam time, Notebook 1 and Notebook 3 are the notebooks which you need to practice because notebook 2 stuff you know it already notebook 3 consists of all those questions which have not solved it probably it involves more than one concept and since you are solving more than one concept notebook 1 questions is already covered in it so that's how you manage time during exams you ask your doubts uh, and don't don't feel shy about it ask your doubt or maybe you can note down your doubt and ask your teacher after the lecture but make sure to do that during exam the moment you get your question paper do not breeze through all the questions i would suggest the moment you get the question paper calm your mind how do you calm your mind now 
Now there are various ways. Now those who attended my seminar, they know it. Your mind is disturbed because of anxiety, because of exam stress. So before your exam, invest that one minute and you know recite backward even numbers or backward odd numbers from 50 to 0 or from 100 to 0 whatever suits you and then start you know one single question at a time do not go through the entire paper why because if you happen to see a question which you are not able to solve it and your mind will be blocked and you won't be able to give your best performance so remember that thing Make sure before exams you practice all solved examples thoroughly. Make sure all your doubts are clear and it is more of a belief. And if you don't have confidence in yourself, believe me, you will find it very difficult to attempt the entire paper. Eventually you will forget many things, eventually you forget one word and you won't remember the entire answer. Believe that you are a big game player and if you believe in yourself, I don't think so your paper will go hard. You need to find out what went wrong, check and verify through your notes. Mistake is your biggest teacher, so learn from your mistakes and try not to repeat those mistakes. And make sure you practice everything because your exam is a written examination, it's not our oral examination. So make sure you practice, time management will be taken care. 90% of students they lose mark because of calculation. So make sure you go through all my video tutorials, master your calculation, apply it in your exams, that will help you. There are students who lose mark because of time management. See, if you spend more time in calculation, you won't get time to recheck your paper. So rechecking your paper is again an important part. So if you don't recheck your paper, then you might have done some silly errors and because of which uh, you would have lost marks. Math is more of a mental game. If you say you are weak at math, what you are trying to suggest is that as of now you have not developed the ability to solve certain kind of mathematical questions or concepts. But then again ability is something which we can develop with time and effort, right? Math is a subject which requires 3Ds. Now what are these 3Ds? Desire, Dedication and Determination. If you don't have the desire to learn maths, you will never be able to excel in mathematics. So first thing, you should have that attitude of learning mathematics. Once you have the desire to learn maths, you need to dedicate certain amount of time every day to hone your skills in learning maths. The last T stands for determination. Even if you find certain concept very very difficult, don't give up. Use different resources available at your disposal, maybe YouTube, videos, maybe internet. Lot of articles are there at your disposal. Sooner or later you will have the opportunity to grab the concept. Finally, the last 10 tips in improving maths. 1. Be regular in your lectures. Do not miss out any of the lectures. Two, do your homework regularly. Do not miss out on the homework. Three, before you go to the lecture, make sure you prepare for that lecture through various uh, resources available. Maybe YouTube, maybe notes, whatever. Four, seek help if you have doubts. Take help of your teacher, your mentor, your friends, discuss with your friends and make sure you understand the topic very well. Fifth, and this is very, very important, make sure make sure you write and practice because your exams are going to be written examination it's not going to be oral examination analyze your mistakes whenever you solve any kind of question and if you make mistakes try to understand what went wrong because as i said earlier mistakes are your biggest teacher so you have to learn from your mistakes seventh make sure you master basic concept theorems and formulas before you proceed ahead with solving of the questions eighth make sure you solve the solved examples before you proceed with solving of any kind of questions ninth make sure you solve the last year question paper to have a clear understanding of what the examiner is expecting out of you tenth make sure you set aside half an hour at least for practicing maths so guys this is the most comprehensive video on how to study maths if you use the tricks and techniques mentioned in this video i'm sure you will excel in maths i hope you have liked this video do share it with your friends and help them in learning maths 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग टू मी पीस